Good morning. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. I'm coming on here to encourage you. Oh my goodness. Holy Spirit is going to strengthen you. And by the way, I'm going to start putting these little encouragement videos up on my channel on YouTube. Table It. T-A-B-L-E-I-T. -E and that is also my website for health and wellness coaching. Tableit.org for your self-image. But Holy Spirit wants me to come on here just to share and just to encourage you that there is that when you have a breakdown, that is when you have a breakthrough. And he's brought some analogies that he wants me to share with you because a lot of people do not understand that the language between your heart and your mind are different languages. And they're always trying to reconcile with one another about who you are. And of course, as Christians, that's who we are in Christ Jesus first and foremost. And the hope that God has called us to be, Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. But in this place, look at it right now. Right now, outside, it is overcast. As I'm walking, it's overcast. And I am not waiting for the sun to come out, for me to make forward progress. A lot of people are weather walkers where they only walk when the weather is good. But let's look at this overcast as the downcast of our soul, as David talks about in the Psalms, especially in Psalms 42. When we look at his soul being downcast, and even in the 30s, in the Psalms 30s, we see David's soul being downcast, and it doesn't keep David from making forward progress in being king of Israel. His destiny is to be king of Israel. He wasn't a weather walker. He got out even when his soul was downcast, even when he felt like he was going to have a nervous breakdown, and he kept making forward momentum, forward progress. And this is the place where God is bringing you strength to let you know about the analogy of a breakdown. See, when a breakdown is occurring within your person, there is an inconsistency of who you are called to be to who you're walking in your life right now is who you are. And the analogy that God gave me was my socks. There is threading on the top of the toes. And I had to change my shoes today, take my shoes off, not change my shoes, but change my socks. I had to take my shoes off and readjust my socks because that threading was under my foot. And it was just irritating me. It was making me restless. And I wasn't going to walk with that threading under my socks because it was going to hinder me. And that is what happens when you have a nervous breakdown. Understand that your nervous breakdown is to get you to a breakthrough of who you are called to be. And so when I changed my socks, of course, I was able to walk. I had no thought of those socks. And I was able to walk without hesitancy or without thought and make forward momentum and not even care and not even notice the overcast, the downcast of the weather. Because I am not a weather walker. I am a destiny walker. And some of y'all need to understand that your nervous breakthrough, your nervous breakdown is to get you to a breakthrough into your destiny. And so when in 2011, I was having a nervous breakdown, I was a full-time social worker at the time working with those that were seriously mentally ill and permanent foster care placement. I had my Juris Doctorate. I have two Masters of Social Work, but I was called to be a minister. And I was ministering 20 hours a week, working 40 hours a week, being taxi for our entire, our entire family, 25 hours a week. And there was some inconsistency that was now in my soul where I can no longer handle that season. I could not handle it because something within me, my identity of who I was called to be was coming to the surface and it would not allow me to continue to walk in the inconsistencies of who I am in my self image. And so I pulled off the side of the road and I'll never forget, you can I'll never forget where Holy Spirit was bringing me an identity in Christ Jesus to understand who I am, that I am a minister of the gospel, and I'm called to encourage the sheep and feed the sheep. And so as I pulled off the road, I told Rich, I called Rich up on the phone at work, and I said, Rich, I do not know what is going to happen. You're going to have to check me into a psych ward, or something's going to happen. And that's when Rich told me to come off of full-time employment in the secular arena and go into the call of who I was to be. See, it was just like that sock on my foot where the threading on top of the toe was now underneath my foot. And it was obvious, it was notable. 
and it was irritating me and I thought I could not handle it because as I mentioned earlier the language between the mind and the body are totally different languages thoughts words images emotions and so the inconsistency in my emotions of who God had called me to be because who he had called who he calls you to be is within your temple it's within your body and your mind is being renewed to know who you are in Christ Jesus first and foremost and also know Jeremiah 29 11 the thoughts of God that are towards you of his hope who you are called to be and God wants to encourage you that those that are going through a nervous breakdown it is just like that sock the threading that is now under your foot and you can't handle life as it has been and not only can you not handle it it is so notable and pronounced that you're not going to tolerate it and it's then that God brings and uproots and tears down and destroys the lies of the enemy the inconsistencies of who you are in Christ and the hope to which the Father has called you God wants me to encourage you my Holy Spirit that your self-image is in the nature of his glory who he's called you to be and God is allowing the nervous breakdown to get you to your breakthrough so I just pray in the name of Jesus that God's knowledge wisdom and understanding be upon you by Holy Spirit and that you know who you're called to be in Christ Jesus the hope of glory inside of you and that you know the Father's hope towards you his thoughts because you are his device that word thoughts in Hebrew is mechashaba and it means to invent it means thoughts it means device do you understand that you are the father's invention and you were created for a purpose and if you're not walking in that purpose right now he is bringing strength knowledge wisdom and understanding to you to know who you are so you act in concert with the Father's th thoughts, with His hope, and I pray a hunger and a thirst for the righteousness of Christ Jesus to be upon you in His Word. And Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, in Jesus' name, God bless you. I love you. I will see you later on the teaching on Facebook Live. God bless.